As you can see, we are in the latest version of OBS, and I have this set up with my ASIO um, Apollo Twin Thunderbolt interface to make sure that I'm recording the input from my voice and then the actual output. So what's going on in Bitwig, or it actually will be my regular computer output as well because it's set up to be the monitor left and right. So if I was just recording the screen and YouTube and stuff, in theory, it would get all of that. Um, I can't guarantee that at this moment because basically what happened to me was my OBS just kind of like updated on its own. I mean, I'm sure I clicked yes, update it, but then it completely messed up all my settings and I ended up uninstalling everything and trying to backtrack, couldn't figure it out went back to the newest version and just sort of eventually figured it out. So I'm just gonna walk through the settings that I'm using to make this video. So for anybody who does music production tutorials and you're on Windows and you're using OBS, like these settings should hopefully work for you and you shouldn't run into too many problems. So for starters, you have to download the latest version of OBS and also download the latest OBS-ASIO plugin. And luckily now with the newer versions, they just have um, executable files that you can download, run, and you're good to go. So let's jump back over to OBS here and hopefully not mess anything up on the setup. After you've installed that ASIO plugin, uh, you know, make sure you close OBS, open it back up, and then you'll have the option here to add an ASIO input capture. And you're actually going to add two of those. One is for the output, one is going to be for the input. So even though it just says input capture, it's capturing you know, all of the settings and stuff that you have on that ISIO driver, which would include the outputs. And that's where you can really get thrown off by this because the defaults here have like audio input and audio output. But anyway, what you'll do is you'll set that up, you know, create a new one, hit OK, and then you'll go in and you'll find your device. So in our case, we're using the Thunderbolt. And then with the Thunderbolt here, we have our options and we can even open up our control panel, which is nice. So for your microphone, you would go in here and probably choose mono most likely, and then you'll have to choose the channel. And in our case, it's actually just the mic line number one, and that's where I have my microphone plugged into, and that's the one that we have currently recording and selected. You can also open up your control panel, which hopefully this doesn't break anything, and it gives you the input-output matrix. And this is useful for us with the outputs, especially because we have that mono left and mono right here, and that's kind of telling us that that's what we're gonna have to set up when we do the output. So we would create this one, we'd hit OK, everything would be good to go, repeat that process. This time you'd go stereo, and then you would choose monitor left and monitor right. Um, you could set up something a lot more complicated if you want to, but that's just probably the path of least resistance. So it still tried to create something for me here, so I'm just gonna go in here and remove it so we don't get confused at all. And we're still getting our input in, which is great. And we can already go ahead and just test our output if you want to see the way I have this set up. You can see that there. So let's go into uh, Bitwig here and press play. And we can start to see that we're getting something happening, which is great. That's exactly what we want. And now what we really have to do, and apologies if the recording gets all crackly, my computer fan is just going absolutely crazy and it's right in front of me. Now we do have to go in and like fine tune the settings to get not only the recording to be clear, but also to try to get our audio into as best quality as possible. That's a little bit tricky, but I'll just show you the settings that I have. All right, first thing you'll probably want to do is go into audio and make sure that you disable everything here so that you don't have extra junk and clutter appearing down below. Sample rates as high as it can be. Channels is going to be stereo. That's fine. And then the next thing that we have to go into here is video. And you'll probably want to match these two things, 1920 by 1080 for both the base and the scaled resolution. Um, I'm using 30 FPS. You could use 60 if you want to, but it's probably unnecessary for music production videos. Now we'll go into output. Make sure you go into the advanced mode, and then you just have to figure out what you want to do with your recording and your audio. So in my case, I want to make sure that my microphone is on a separate channel to my output so that I can process the vocal recording separate 
to the computer audio that I want to leave alone. So when somebody's listening to the computer audio, I want that to be as pure as possible when I'm making changes to plugins or, you know, EQ settings or compressors, you know, so people can actually hear the AB. And even now it's not like, you know, full, full resolution. It's still something that is like scaled down, but I think it's good enough really. So under recording, you can see the settings that I have set up. I have this going through the NVIDIA. So like it's through the graphics card so that it's not taxing you know the main cpu it's putting it more onto that graphics card our output is still going to be 1920 by 1080 we've changed the recording format to mp4 audio track one and two and i'll show you how i set that up in just a second i might have to actually cancel out of this to see it we're going um constant bit rate at 8000 to try to get it as clear as we can and then to be honest with you i don't know what any of the other stuff means so this is just what i'm using quality high whatever somebody who's more into video will know okay so then under audio what i've done is for track one and two so those are going to be two separate audio tracks that record with the video i have the bitrate as high as it will go and then i've just named these two separate things so when i go and i check the video on vlc i can change between my two different audio tracks and make sure everything's working so this is just like organization stuff at this point point. and then the final thing that we'll want to do is actually make sure that we route these properly for the recording and so to do that you'll hit this little icon here and then you can go to advanced audio Audio properties and now we can see we have our Apollo input our Apollo output the Apollo input is mono that's recording to track one and then we have the Apollo output which is stereo and that's recording to track two now don't get confused thinking that you have to choose like two and three this track two is a stereo output and track one is a mono output all right, so just keep that in mind. And in theory, we should be good to go. So um, I'll stop this recording. I'll start a new one and then just let you see how this appears in VLC so you know that it's kind of worked. And obviously, you'll do these checks yourselves too. All right, so let's stop it and then look at the VLC vid. All right, so we're definitely going to get into Inception like territory here, but this is the video that's been generated. And what you'll see then under audio is that for tracks, we have the microphone track and we have the computer audio. And if you see this, you know, on the video that you've done on the test video, you should be good. Obviously, you'll want to, you know, listen and make sure that it recorded your microphone properly and that it got the computer audio properly. Sometimes what I've noticed is depending on the order in which you turn things on, you'll get some interference on the microphone. And usually the best way to solve that is to turn everything off and turn it back on again, computer interface, etc. Um, that's been my troubleshooting solution that's worked in this case. So uh, that's the way that I have this set up to try to work as best as it can. Hopefully this will work for you. I don't even want to tell you how long it took me to figure this out. Um, I should have written down these settings or something before. I had no idea that I was going to accidentally update to this newest version. But here we are. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.